Hey gang, this is JC and this is the Daily Dose for January 11th, uh, 2011. Yes, it's 011111. And for some reason, my wife is very excited about that. I don't know why. Uh, we're a cooperative effort with uh, Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. If you need web strategy, go to Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. They do a great job. They do this website and they do the KTRS website. And of course, we are on the air along with the lovely Trish Gazelle. Trish's Trash is back every day at 12.50, 10 minutes before 1 o'clock. Uh, the Big 550 KTRS, we are on the air from 10 until 1 o'clock. And just a little plug for our show tomorrow, Wednesday, we're going to be down at O'Leary's in Sunset Hills. You know, they're just trying to get life back to normal down there, and O'Leary's opened up over the weekend, so they're all excited, and we're excited for them, and uh, we're sort of friends of the family, I guess you would say. So we're going to go down there, and Trish and I will be uh, at O'Leary's from 10 until 1 during the lunch hour tomorrow and doing the show down there. And just sort of, you know, helping out. It's not really a fundraiser. It's more along the lines of uh, just sort of raising awareness, reminding people that help is still needed, and, uh, you know, just showing support, I guess you would say. So that'll be our big show for tomorrow. Want to get a plug in for Thursday. One of our most popular guests that we have on the show is Dr. Kathy Naughton from the Center for Sexual Health. Yeah, you know, I've talked about this before. You're at a party, you go, oh, you know, oh what's the matter with you? Oh, my elbow hurts. Oh, I got a great orthopedic surgeon. It's like, uh, what's the matter with you? Oh, you know, I bumped my nose. It's like, oh, I got a great, uh, you know, guy who does noses and feet and doesn't matter. <clears throat> if you have a problem, shall we say, you know, you're not going to talk about that at a party, and certainly people are not going to volunteer information about a doctor you can go to. They're just going to move away from you and hide behind the salad bar. So uh, Dr. Kathy Naughton has this place called the Center for Sexual Health in West County, and you know, for the longest time people had no idea what to do, who to talk to, or where to go when uh, things weren't working properly. And it's a great uh, uh, yeah, this is a medical facility, by the way. This isn't somebody working out of the back of a Dodge. Okay, and you'll hear all about it Thursday. Dr. Norton will be with us in the studio on Thursday. It's always uh, very lively and uh, very informative, and we love Dr. Kathy Norton. All right, let's uh, get to uh, some of the more important things. There was a thing on Olbermann last night, and I know a lot of people bristle when they hear Keith Olbermann, and, and frankly, I can only take him in small doses anymore because I'm just so sick of the whole political process and everything that's going on. But last night, um, they had a woman on. I'm going to play the audio on the show today, and it may air a couple more times this week because the word compelling comes to mind. He basically asked her one question, and she talked for about four and a half minutes. Patricia Mesh is a 61-year-old woman who was in the parking lot of that Safeway in Tucson, Arizona on Saturday when the congresswoman was, uh, uh, was shot in the head. And she goes into the most detailed account of how she assisted in holding this dope down and keeping him from reloading and shooting more people. Uh, she took her life in her hands. and I mean, this is a 61-year-old woman, and she's kneeling on this guy's legs trying to keep him from getting away. And there's one point in the uh, soliloquy, almost I'll call it, where she talks about, gosh, I wonder what a bullet wound is going to feel like. I wonder how much damage it's going to do. It's just amazingly sobering to listen to, and it reminds you, it reminded me, frankly, of that story I tell every once in a while about Christmas night, 1978, when I was driving from Chicago back to Fort Wayne, Indiana, and a guy was coming the wrong way on a highway, and almost I almost hit him head on. My life almost ended that night. And, uh, and in the course of, you know, maybe one or two seconds, you have this amazing moment of clarity where like 15 or 20 minutes of thought seems to get compressed into two seconds. It's an amazing phenomenon. I'm sure it's probably happened to everybody at one point or another. But to hear this a woman talk about, gosh, I wonder what a bullet wound is going to feel like. I mean, it's, it's just absolutely, again, the word compelling. Anyhow, we're going to play that uh, on the uh, show today. By the time you see this, it will already be over. But uh, I'm sure it's going to be on our, you know, we run a lot of best of stuff, highlights, on the KTRS website, and something tells me I'm going to play that more than just one time, by the way. So very, very interesting to listen to. All right, let's shift gears now, and your dreams have been answered. Yes, folks, 3D porn is coming. Uh, the penthouse is going to unveil its own 3D channel within the next few months 
They said they started shooting 3D stuff over the summer, and they've got all this money and everything invested in it, and so get ready for 3D porn. You know, there's uh, certain scenes, and I'm sure you can probably imagine them. Well, I, I'm not sure I want my porn to be in 3D. You know, think about it for a moment. Well, anyhow, we'll, we'll get back to that later. Along the same lines, this past weekend, the Adult Video News Awards were in Las Vegas. It's sort of like the porn Oscars. And guess who was there? Charlie Sheen. And the stories are just running rampant as to uh, uh, all of the, shall we say, activity Charlie was involved in. And I just don't know why anybody would be surprised by that. Um, back in, what was I going to say, was it 1979? Yes, 1979. One of the greatest movies I have ever seen was made by a director named Peter Yates. Peter Yates died over the weekend, I believe it is. He also directed Steve McQueen in Bullet. He also did The Deep, uh, Jackie Bissett, and a couple of other movies, too. Won an Oscar for, or I'm sorry, did it get him an Oscar? Oscar nominations for Best Director for The Dresser back in 1984. The movie that I'm talking about, though, is Breaking Away. Peter Yates died a couple of days ago, but uh, made that movie back in 1979. And if you've never seen it, or if you haven't seen it within you know the last few years, gosh, pick up a copy of Breaking Away. The thing still holds up. Everybody in the movie is so good, and it's just one of these uh, movies where you, where you just sit there, and after the movie's over, and you go, I think I'm just going to sit there and watch it again. Breaking Away, about uh, uh, so many different levels of humanity going on in there. you got the father who is a, a f battling a weight problem and can't eat all the foods he used to uh, like to eat, the mother trying to deal with it, and the son who seems to have a little bit of an identity crisis and, uh, you know, class warfare, birthright, just all sorts of stuff. And um, great movie. Again, it's called Breaking Away 1979, and uh, Peter Yates seemed to know how to make a good movie. All right, uh, something very, very funny. I, I will describe him as an acquired taste, but comedian Daniel Tosh kicks off his third season tonight on Comedy Central at 9 o'clock St. Louis time. And this guy, is, you know, when, you, when you've when you watched comedians your entire life and interviewed them and gotten to know them, etc., and on and on and on, it's really rare for you to turn on the TV or see somebody on stage and say, gosh, this guy's really doing something different. There's so little opportunity to see anything different in show business, but especially stand-up comedy. This guy's got something different. Tosh.0, T-O-S-H, Tosh.0, Comedy Central. I know a lot of people already know him. Please bear with me if you're already a fan, because uh, I, I, I still think there's a lot of people who aren't aware of this guy, and you should be, because he's a friggin' riot. Uh, home video today, The Social Network. You might want to pick that up before Oscar night if you haven't seen it. I have a hunch that it's uh, certainly going to be coming into play on Oscar night, and even as far as the Golden Globes and everything like that. <clears throat> and this uh, young Jesse Eisenberg uh, really does a good job of uh, almost impersonating Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Also on home video today, Funny or Die Season 1, also an acquired taste very, very much an acquired taste, as a matter of fact, but some of the most bizarre stuff in terms of comedy. This is Will Ferrell and Adam McKay, who teamed up on you know, the movie Anchorman and stuff like that. It, it, it's not all of it's as funny as it should be. The stuff that is funny, you almost sit there a god with your mouth open going, I don't believe what I'm seeing. But it's pretty funny stuff. And again, an acquired taste. Um, we made one of these top 10 lists again today. When I say we, I'm talking about St. Louis. St. Louis, number 10 on the list of most literate cities in America. I almost had to look twice to make sure we weren't listed on the least literate cities in America, but there we are. We'll talk more about that later. It was on this date in 1973 that baseball died a little bit in a way as owners of the American League, <coughs> can't get rid of this cough, voted to adopt the designated hitter rule. Ugh. And in uh, 1974, on this date, the Joker, Steve Miller Band, went gold, and people have been arguing about the pompatus of love ever since 1974. What is it? Technically, it's nothing. It's a made-up word. Steve Miller sort of borrowed it from a 1954 R&B song called The Letter by the Medallions, but he got it wrong because in that song, the guy used the word puppetoots, puppetoots, 
which again is a made up word. Vernon Green, who wrote the song, defined puppetute as a, and this is a quote, a secret paper doll fantasy figure who would be my everything and bear my children. Okay, maybe I'll stick with pompatus. I don't know. All right, uh, JC's eye candy, and we always have good eye candy stuff right along the bottom of the page here. We go back to uh, the 1950s for some inspiration for all of you ladies out there, and I'll just leave it at that, <laughs> okay? And you're going to want to punch me later, but that's okay. All right, that's it. The Daily Dose for, <laughs> for Tuesday, January 11th. 2011, a combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Redwood. Careful in the snow today, folks. In the meantime, we beat this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.